Welcome to the NCAA Women's Championship presented by Capital One. From the Albany region and in stores, Connecticut, the number one overall seed, the undefeated UConn Huskies, get set to open up their tournament against the 16 seed, the champions out of the Northeastern Conference, St. Francis. St. Francis and UConn. And Gabby Williams wins the tip. We're going to look at today's Capital One starting lineups. Gabby Williams did not play in the American Conference Tournament semifinals. She did play in the championship game dealing with a hip injury. Answers for St. Francis. Let's get used to that pace because that's what the Red Flash want to do. Good answer by Collier. Had an incredible player by the name of Allison Feaster who yep. ended up having a long professional He's career. Put down. We're going to try and really, really have efficient possessions and we don't want them to score very easily. That's not St. Francis. Nope. Collier has six and the steal. Collier has eight. Williams stumbling and finishing. St. Francis plays at the third fastest pace in the country in terms of possessions per 40 minutes. But some early turnovers, and Gabby Williams getting it done. Nearly a travel, a steal by Williams, and the easy two for Samuelson. See Kian Nurse's eyes on that play. She knew she had Katie Lou Samuelson open for a layup, and I think that's what helped cause the turnover. Nice play. Beautiful pass by Williams to Nurse. Face, shoot threes, and try to extend the defense. That's just a beautiful lead by Samuelson. The excellent guard, Crystal Dangerfield. Tipped by Collier. She saved it to Nurse. And Williams with the cut for the layup. Samuelson. Her second three. Well, UConn has responded to this pace very impressively. Williams with the left. Azare Stevens, the Newcomer of the year and sixth player of the year. But like Gabby Williams with an impressive contest. And she sets up Katie Lou Samuelson. Good post up by Stevens. Got her own miss. Because you're not sure what you're supposed to be doing out on the court. In UConn system where it's such a read and react and play off one another and play off the, the defense. Collier with a contest of Kroll's three. And then she's on the run out, finding Samuelson. Samuelson to Stevens. Dealing with shin splints for a good chunk of this season. Kovach had that one blocked. You know, there's not many players, Adam, that can not just survive, but thrive with mental reps. Interfield. Here's Collier to Walker for three. The three. Good finish by Nurse with the contact. 11 St. Francis is here. Joe's whole family is here today as well, except for his family. Straight love, up basketball yeah. family, Joe Haig and the crew. I love talking with their family yesterday about Maya Wynn at the line. St. Francis has never won an NCAA tournament game. She and Carson Swagger and Jill Scott, a member of this team who is on the bench right now. Here's Collier. In a half of an NCAA tournament game. 68 and counting with six minutes left here in the first half. Nurse. As UConn seemingly has today. I mean, the, the pace is obviously what's fueling the points. Yeah, right. you're seeded, I guess, but you get a 16 seed against a one. A lot of those seeds will try to slow the game down. We Maria will see if LSU can make a comeback, a Tiger team that played really well. So we might have, uh, well, I don't want to call it a true home game for Quinnipiac as Walker puts it in. Walker, good patience. 
Here's Samuelson. Collier, the offensive rebound, finding Nurse. Kyla Irwin is into the game, playing against some of her area mates from her high school days. This is unprecedented. Yes. Stevens got her on miss and put it back in. She's on, and they may hit that today, too. Well, they've already taken 28. They're, they're, they're well above pace. <laughs> Stevens lays it in, 92, five seconds left. Samuelson to Nurse. The most impressive half in NCAA tournament history. Offensive half in women's basketball history at the Division I level. And picking up right where they left off with Collier. Double on Collier, so. KD Lou Samuelson will take the three-pointer and another UConn assist. Three of women's basketball. I think he, that's a pretty safe I, I, I feel bet. safe. Yeah. I feel safe. <laughs> Samuelson misses. And Collier's there. These last 17 minutes or so, both sides. Well, when you look at UConn, it's about their pace. You're in doubt. So do the things that you do well and enjoy the and, and enjoy the experience. And people say, well, enjoy the experience. You're down by 70 points. That's me. <laughs> I can appreciate that as well. As you should. <laughs> Stevens finishes. Full strength at this time of year, sure. right? There's, Fair point. You're, you're 32 games in. You get into March. You're a team that. Oh, none of that. No. Today, <laughs> beginning of camp, this is as good as you're about to feel this for the as, next six months. You got it. This is as good as it gets, brother. Here is Stevens. Nice move on Zeza. It's our done. Batuli Kamara is in. Kyla Irwin is in with their bench. Here it is. Gordon misses. Kamara with the offensive rebound. Walker to the line. In seven years. This was a guy who was in high school. He was a high school business teacher as Walker hits the three. Came to St. Francis under Susan Robinson Fructal as an assistant and now has the head job with good reason at St. Francis. Kamara missed it. Saved it to Gordon for two. Miami or Quinnipiac on Monday in the second round with the winner headed to the Sweet 16 in Albany. For those young women. Bent to Irwin. 140 points put up by the Yukon Huskies. On to the second round. Ladies and gentlemen, final score, Yukon 140, St. Francis 52. A Division I tournament record, a UConn record, and tied for the second most points in any game in Division I history.